Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It is Pat Patty here. Uh, about to make a video on how to install um, 10.6.3 on a uh, Acer Spar 1 D250 in my case. Uh, here it is. To show you some I.O. There's uh, Ethernet, fan, VGA, the USB, which is for my mouse. Uh, in and out. And extra two USB ports and a card reader. So, I'm gonna first show you a little video. <laughs> this looks pretty funny. Bubbles! Bubbles! Uh! I hope you are happy because I'm about to blow up. Blow up. <laughs> yes. Yup. But make sure get your limo check. But, um, yeah. Stop looking at me like that. I'm trying to save a life here. But, um, yeah. Um. So, first of all, you're going to have to download uh, Iticos S3. Uh, it's going to come in the ISO file. So, if you're doing this on the uh, netbook, then you can either, one, uh, get an external um, DVD drive and burn to a disc and boot from the disc. Or... You need a current Mac or Hackintosh and extract that um Hedgecoat X3 on that uh, Mac or Hackintosh and then just um put it on here. Uh there'll be a video in the description and it'll show you what the steps you would have to do. I'll probably make it because the description is gonna be updated uh, as I go. So um yeah, so I got um this it's an eight gigabyte SDHC card. Uh, you want at least eight gigabytes. Uh, four gigabytes will not work. Uh, eight gigabyte or above will work. And even a USB flash drive will work. But in my case, it's just an SD card. So just insert into your SD card reader. <laughs> Just wait for a click. Okay, so um, now you want to do is uh, make sure you have a bootloader installed on it. Yeah, you will need that if you're booting off a CD, but I recommend using a SD card or USB flash drive that's 8 gigabytes or more because um, it's a lot faster to boot up. So we're just going to restart here. And this is Windows 7, by the way. Oh, one more thing. If you're going to be dual booting, okay, you are going to need this program. So once again, to focus. E-A-S-E-U-S -E Partition Master Home Edition. This is Partition Master 8 Home Edition. So you just use um open it up. Yeah. I'll I'll make a video in in the uh, coming day, most likely tomorrow. Because I'm trying to get this video out for today. So now we can restart. Sorry about that. Just quickly at the say that. Um but that's only if you're dual booting. If you're not then you're um pretty much uh good if you are not dual booting. Let me turn off my sneakers. Okay. And just turn off my speakers. And then, um, you want to go to your boot menu, or whatever you have. Um, my boot menu is F12. If you don't see a boot menu, then just go into the BIOS, which one is F2. Okay, so I'm going to go into the boot menu, pressing F12. And, uh, you want to boot from your USB HDD. 
mine is the SD card. And you just click enter. You'll see the little loading symbol. Um, you might want to have a USB mouse, but my trackpad works. And there you can see Mac OS X installer. Just, uh, you don't need to boot verbose. Just click enter. There you go, Apple logo. This, uh, pretty, this loads up, um, pretty fast. Like I said, if you're booting from a CD, then yes, it will take a little longer. If it's a USB, then yeah, it would probably be pretty slow. If it's just USB flash drive more than 8 gigabytes or uh, SD card more than 8 gigabytes, then uh, you should be good and it should be a little faster for booting up into the installer. Got the cursor. And here you just want to select your language, mine's English. So I'm going to use English, of course. And here you get to this screen. Now, before you do anything, go to Utilities. And, um, this Utility. And there is the hard drive, the main hard drive, here are the partitions, you do not mean, you do not want to mess up this, do not erase it, that's critical to your system, either this, that's your uh, primary drive, and this is the uh, partition that you created, which the link to make a partition if you're dual booting, in the description, if you're not, you just do, click on this, go to partition, you go to current one partition, click on options, make sure it's GUID partition table, say whatever name you want, and click apply. Or not change that. But here's my my partition since I want a dual boot. Um I already uh, formatted it, so I'm just gonna erase it. Erase. Let's go mount the disk and just erase it and mount it. Okay, so it's done. And we'll make sure that it shows up like this, not like kind of like a gray. And you could quit out of disk utility. Now, if you, um, uh, use the bootloader, which, um, you must have a Mac or Hackintosh, I use a Netbook Bootmaker, and, uh, in automatically installs the Netbook Installer application, so that, um, I can install a bootloader, because, uh, with the bootloader, I get the, uh, full graphics, and, yeah. Just agree to license. Do not install it on here, here, but here. Neither on here. I'll say there is no free. NTFS, here you go. Now, before you click on install, well, customize. May you customize it? Yes, you can. Um, Bootloader, I'm not going to select anything. Okay, say I'm good. Do a custom one. Uh, graphics enabler need. Uh, Ethernet. Uh, USB box fix for mine. Um, in patches, you uh, if you're on an Atom netbook, then you need this kernel right here, Atom kernel. Otherwise, it will not boot. Trust me. Uh, drivers, main hardware, SATA slash IDE, I have a AHCI SATA, uh, sound, I, my sound card is in support by Apple HDA, so I use Voodoo HDA, PS2, I use Voodoo PS2, um, 
laptop hardware, eggs battery, card reader, TAC sync, and also um, ASUS too. Uh, sometimes NTFS um, don't really need that right now. Uh, Intel. This is if you're on a netbook, you need this, this, and you could check all those. If you have a GMA X3100, then you check this, this, and this. Okay, but I have a GMA950, so. Um, network, I don't need network. Uh, CPU power management. No, I don't need that. But yeah, I don't need a bootloader. I can install that later. And, um, yeah. If you want to take a quick look at my uh, settings, then you may. If you're uh, doing this on a Asus Power 1 D250 netbook like I am, then do exactly what I did. And you will be fine perfectly to go. Definitely need that. Okay, so once you got that, click OK, and you click the magic install button, cross your fingers, make sure it works, and you click on install. And uh, this process will take about 20-30 minutes if you use the SD card, uh, 30 to 40 minutes for, um, for optical, which will be booting from the DVD. So I'll be coming back. I'll be coming back to you um, once I get it all uh, set up. Uh, once it's installed, succeeded. Okay, I'll be right back.